Good afternoon. This is an unscheduled scream. Uh, not a scream. I'm <laughs> a stream. I'm playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint. There's been a patch that came out that adds uh, some welcome additions to this video game. Which uh, keeps getting better. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that Ubisoft has, has kept this going and didn't just give up on it. So I'm continuing my ongoing mission here to liberate this island of Aurora, this fi fictional island in the Pacific from a private military company and the involved people. And one of the things that they added, which is quite cool, the here the the item uh, wheel. I'm sorry, I'm a little rusty. I haven't talked on stream for a while. It has the item wheel is bigger. You can put more stuff in it. And now there's this thing called a hand-thrown bullet to lure the in nearest enemy soldier. Okay, so it's kind of like that lure, but it's infinite. It's because you know you have a bunch of bullets with you. So why not throw a little bullet to try to attract one of these guys towards you? So let's uh, try start with that and check it out. I think there's someone else nearby that I haven't marked. Uh, Oh yeah, there he is. Okay. See this guy over here? Alright, so let's try this bullet. Let's try to throw it over there, see if he goes see it. I'm taking cover! Hostiles nearby. Oh. Watch your sectors. And another thing that's happening that you can actually hear is now there's um gorillas, people who are on your side, uh randomly around the environment that may engage the enemy themselves. And you can have terminators running around you can have darker nights there's all these different uh, different um, additions they they've added to this to the game and apparently the AI is uh, oh, apparently the AI is better as well I haven't played enough to to notice it but uh, one thing I did notice when you're shooting at uh, some of these enemies now they take cover more quickly. I'm at I'm in advanced difficulty setting. I'm not in uh in the hardest one because I was having trouble with that the last time I was talking shit about it, saying, Oh, it's not hard enough and I'm gonna put it at the really high difficulty setting. And uh and then uh and then I got my ass kicked and I, I needed my friend Artie to come help me. Alright, he's down. Oh, there's someone hiding around here too? Yes, it was. And I turned on the um, and back there. And I turned on the the markers, the enemy markers, so I can see them better because I was having quite a bit of trouble in the fully immersive thing that he didn't have any markers. I might turn it off again after I experiment with the AI in this a bit, see how how it feels. Because I'm playing by myself. This game is designed. Um, it's really fun with uh, four players playing together with you. But it's t it's tougher to play by yourself. You have to be more of a s stealthy ghost, and and the, the challenge is welcome. I like challenging games. And a cool thing they have right now that we saw has done has done is that apparently you can download this uh, the game for free, and you can play it for free as long as you're playing with someone who has it. So I have the game. If you want to join me, uh, download it. A uh, friend me on the I think I'm Hypertext Hero in the U Ubisoft Connect whatever it's called, and uh, come and uh, send me a friend request and feel free to come play with me. Uh, it will be free as long as you're playing when I'm playing, and we can do this together. Right now, I am I am I'm continuing the story. I'm looking for this guy called Jace. Skell, the CEO of Skell Tech, which was basically this company that came to this island and tried to make World 2.0. And things, uh, you know, didn't work out very well. So these drones took over the island and this military company came in and took over as well. And, you know, the, the regular takeover, the evil people want to take over the world thing. And I'm looking for the guy. And right now, uh, he is he's managed to escape from Sentinel, is hiding in a secret lab, but not for long. He must be found extracted to Area 1, which is our home base of the Resistance here, as quickly as possible. And he is in the northern part of Infinity Provinces. It is east of Ravenwood. So let's open up the map here. Ubisoft has been 
with Assassin's Creed, I haven't got Valhalla yet. I can't really afford to get a new game right now, both time-wise and money-wise, after my trip especially, to see my mom. But I, I do have... Uh, I do notice that Ubisoft, it's, and I've heard that Assassin's Creed Valhalla has been adding these, Ubisoft is slowly moving to these game modes where they don't just put icons everywhere that you can see exactly where to go. They make it more of a discovery experience with classic RPGs they have. And so you don't, you're not told exactly where to go. You're told more or less where it might be. So this is an example here in Ghost Wreck and Breakpoint. Isn't it's not, you know, fantastic, but it's, this place we're looking for is located in the northern pass of Infinity Province. So you find uh, there's Infinity Province, so it'll be in the north around here and east of Ravenwood. All right, so let's see if we find Ravenwood. There it is. This is so east. That's probably the place you have to go there. I, I would get. I, I would guess is over there. So I'm gonna put a beacon there. And uh, here in the 3D world, there's the beacon about two one two point one kilometers away. Quite a bit of. Uh, distance away and we're just gonna try to leg it over there if we find a vehicle on the way we might take it Joanne Rambo here she's uh, I have this hat and I decided to take it off for a bit because uh, I quite like the the ponytail long hair look and it's good to be playing video games again after this break in the streaming I am going to ch be changing my schedule, so I'll be changing this. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on a couple of games more in particular, but also leave room for random ones and uh, uh, make this into a variety stream eventually. I like playing many different kinds of games. I don't want to be stuck on only one, but there are a couple that I will be playing a lot, like Elite uh, and uh, probably Isle 2, Microsoft Flight Simulator. And maybe others. I, I'm thinking about I, what I, if I had more money now and more time, what I, what I would really, what I would really want to, uh, to get right now is Watch Dogs Legion. Came out uh, two or three weeks ago. Set in London about you know being a hacker in an open world and and trying to fight of uh, an oppressive government or corporation, I'm not sure. And the reason I want to play that game is because the creative director is this guy called Clint Hawking, and he was the creative director in Far Cry, ooh, some shots. He was the creative director in Far Cry 2, which is one of my favorite first person shooters ever. So anything that he does, I'm always interested in, in checking out, checking it out, okay. Okay, there's a drone here. There's also options now in this new Ghost uh, up, updated patch that you can have less drones for people that don't like to fight drones. But I don't mind the drones. I, 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 so I keep them on. But apparently they've also made changes that when you're in stealth, you haven't been detected, your damage on the drones will be, will be um, enhanced. So let's see how that's working. There you go. Oh my. All right. Okay, someone heard that back there. Oh shit, and from the other side too. So let's hide. And there's a civilian here, so I'm going to try to protect this guy. I'm going to stay here, but I'm going to try to get some cover here. To climb over. Get prone. Get my sniper rifle out. Let's see if I can spot these guys. Okay, there's a couple coming from my left there. You see the little cl detection clouds on the on the mini map. I've turned those on as well because when I'm playing solo, it's a bit tough to keep track of everything if you have people coming from your left and from your right from behind you. So the detection clouds just to make it a bit more of a. Just open fire on these guys. All right, now they see me. Okay, they, f they threw something. Reloading. This 
poor civilian over here, but it's going to have to wait and see. And this is an opportunity to see how this AI, apparently they've improved the AI a lot. They reload now. So if they're shooting at you and they're, they're reloading, that's the moment you want to attract attack them. Flashbangs, let's throw one of those. You Shit. Shit. Oh! Go! <laughs> Got hit by a shotgun, I think, or maybe a sniper rifle. That took me a lot of energy, I better get away. When you're playing these games single player, it's a lot to survive. It's a lot about shooting and displacing, which means like changing your position. Otherwise, uh, you're going to get surrounded, especially with this improved AI. Alright, vanish. There you go. I, I have a feeling... Ooh, there's a guy right here. I have a feeling that the the fog was changed the, there's more fog now i don't know if, if they did may change the weather as well i didn't read all the patch notes but i have a feeling there's more foggy weather in the game as well now i don't remember seeing this much fog that often and before this patch all right Let's keep moving I think I'm gonna switch the AK to whatever this guy has. He's a shotgunner. Doesn't have anything. Okay. Yeah, and I think Wildlands, for all the criticism it received, it is a more popular game than Breakpoint. I think that Ubisoft released too many games too quickly. They didn't really polish them, and they just they just uh, polished them after the fact, and that was part of the reason. But also, this game is... Uh, it's less colorful than, wild, than Wildlands. Many aspects of the graphics are better. In terms of animation and, and the glint of the light. But the overall, I, I actually find the graphics... Like the world, the world design, I actually find the graphics of Wildlands more beautiful, more colorful, and more varied. Th there seems to be a lot of blue and green in this, that, this, this coldness to, to um, Breakpoint. Whilst Wildlands was, was a much warmer color palette. And I wonder if that has something to do with uh, coupled with a lot of other things with the popularity of these games. No, it's not just about graphics, but uh, around these guys. See if I had those... As an example, I'm going to turn off the marking after I vanish again. And then I'm going to sh... And in the next engagement, we're going to see how much harder it is with... Uh, without those enemy markers. I think it would be a good compromise. You know, you still keep these these detection clouds. Like I, s I know there's someone out there because of the detection cloud, but turn off the the enemy marker so I don't know when I once I see them once I don't know see exactly where they are. Alright, let's find this guy. Otherwise he's gonna come right behind me. Must be here. It is. All right, they're gone. A lot of still these issues with like, you know, you can. I want to press E here to see what this laptop has, but it doesn't. It does the, the icon doesn't appear? It almost reminds me of Arma, you know. So. 
Yeah, let's take this M. M4 instead of the AK, that sounds better. All right, now to show you uh, for the next engagement. Let's first meet some other people. Ooh, there's a little drone here. Yeah, much more foggy. Okay, let's keep moving to our next engagement. And once we find some more enemies, I'm going to turn off the markers and we'll see how that plays out. Join Ramble. Oh, here's some. All right. So basically, I'm going to show you just the demonstration here. This is just in case, you know, for, so I can save a clip for people in the future. I have friends who ask me about this game. Is it worth getting it now? Is it worth a new patch and stuff? And I, I've had fun with it despite its problems. And now I think is a, is a good time to get it. But there's so many games, you know, that it's uh, the, the nice thing about this one is the the cooperative play. Okay, so I saw the guy marked him. He has a little carrot, the little chevron pointing at him. Right, if I go to settings now and I go to interface here and I put uh, hood markers enemies, I put never. Put allies never to. Okay. Now, see? Can't see them. Much harder to see them. No, this is more like armor. You can't really see them unless you actually see exactly where they are, especially in a great distance. And there's a second one over there. So let's try like this for a while and see how it goes. But I am glad they keep working on the game. You know, it's these big open world games. You... Oh, they, they were like... They released this person? Alright, I have to change another setting because this inter... I think this is the interface that I don't see it. Let's see if I see that. Here. I think, here you go, then I can see the input rem reminder release, because otherwise you don't, unless you like write, you memorize what position you have to be to press the button, you wouldn't find out. Okay, that's good. Let's stick with the M4. Not a huge fan of this little red dot sight. One thing that these games have, you can... Uh, Go in and as long as you find the let's just go iron sight. As long as you find the weapon, you can modify it and, and the the scopes and stuff you can modify them. Another thing in these ghost ex uh setting in these ghost experiences an option now is you can choose to have only one gun if you're more of a challenge, you know, you just have one main weapon. Alright, three dudes over here. Alright, here's the bullet throw thing. One thing that you lose from turning off the enemy markers is that it's like in Metal Gear Solid when they're when they hear something, like a little question mark appears or an exclamation mark. And by turning off the enemy markers, you lose those as well, which is unfortunate because I, li I do like those. Alright. Three down. Let's keep moving. A sort of... Uh, Bloodthirsty savage romp through the island countryside here. And the enemies everywhere you look, there's enemies here. OK, 
keep moving. Got a shotgun and a 416, which is, I think is the special forces weapon of the of the uh, American special forces. According to my friend uh, Godinus's book, and to my friend Grant's uh, account, they wanted to make an AK-47 equivalent for US, for uh, the Western Special Forces. It's the gun that doesn't break when you bury it in mud or, or traverse water. A very reliable gun. Apparently, this 416 uh, is what is what they came up with. I don't know too much about that. I like, you know, I, I played with little Rambo toys when I was a kid of G.I. Joe's, and so all my gun knowledge comes from those toys and, and, and watching the, the movie, Rambo movies and stuff like that. But uh, I'm not a, a gun aficionado. I do like games with loads of guns, though, that you can find a lot of different guns for you to choose from, like Jagged Alliance 2. So this one does have a quite a variety, not as much as Division 2, but it does have quite a variety of weapons. I like the M14 and Arma. This is one of my favorite weapons, this one here as well. A designated marksman rifle. So it's not really a sniper rifle, but a, you know, a, a combat rifle that can be used as a sniper rifle. But it has a, I think, 20, 20 round clip. 15 uh, in this particular of one I'm carrying here, I can probably change the clip to, to be larger. But yeah, enjoying this new Ghost Recon experience. I'm glad they keep uh, adding, to, uh, making the modifications and listening to to what people ask for. If I could make a request to Ubisoft myself, I would ask them to, to make like suppressors not automatic, of, automatically available for every weapon. I think that suppressors should be quite rare and you should have to find them. And they should... Uh, maybe break after a while or something, because I think it would be more interesting if you didn't... Uh oh, these are civilians. If you didn't uh, have the option to be suppressed all the time. What are you doing here? Hi, uh, stranger. Hey, what, what? You what is he here? I want the uh, Harris Homestead, please. It would be please. a huge help if you could point me in the direction Bad gas! Of How are you, sir? For. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Thanks for dropping by. It's been a while. I'm back. I'm not. I'm not resuming re scheduled streaming just yet. But uh, you know, I'm getting slowly back into it as I as I get my bearings again after this trip. How are you doing? How's the uh, how's the lockdown over there in Yorkshire? How has your elite uh, journeys been lately, sir? I updated Elite the other day because now I think they joined the. Uh, now, if you have Elite, you have both Horizons. Uh, they gave that for free to everyone, which I think is really nice. But I haven't, I haven't fired the game up yet. Roma, Roma's great. I, uh, I really love. It. it was really nice to see Rome. To go back to see my mom. Uh, yeah, she she's doing better now. You know the what people often miss about I think this this whole COVID thing is that it's not just the risk of get, getting a disease. It's that that's harmful. It's it's and getting the disease is harmful. It's uh, it's the isolation that and the fear that it causes. So I feel like for a long time, you know. My mom doesn't really is not as scared of many things. Okay, so she, but her a lot of her friends are, so they don't want to meet up and, you know, and you have to respect that. But it's been it was hard for her, so it's been hard for her. So so it was good to go down and see her, even despite the risks and stuff. You know, Ooh, look at that light changing. That's that's nice. All right, find the entrance to the underground lab. Okay, we'll, so we're, this is the right place then. Okay. Back guess says not too bad here, going okay, and I now have all the ships in the game. Fantastic! Congrats! 
Well, I have like probably like one fifth or one sixth of all the ships in the game, but I roamed around Rome. I did indeed. I took some photos. I, you know, I stayed home for a while after I arrived there, but then after I had left and I ate at my favorite restaurant a couple of times. You could eat outside or you could also eat, eat indoors with reduced uh, reduced uh, capacity and, and, you know, they keep two doors open so there's a lot of ventilation because a lot of what they're finding out about this virus is that as long as you're somewhere that's well ventilated the risk is much smaller if you're somewhere that's not well ventilated the risk is much higher but uh, yeah lovely to be back in rome you know new york city eight of over eight million people i'm sure rome uh rome is about four million but it's actually much smaller it's it's not just about the population it's it's area wise it's it's a much smaller area than new york and so you feel much more like you're in a it, a town and you can walk around and it's it's quite lovely no but once i went to once uh the, i think the coliseum is closed right now for tourists all those things are closed right now but the last time i went to coliseum or maybe not the last time but a while back was uh I did do the Bruce Willis, Chuck Norris, and Bruce Lee uh, thing with a friend of mine. You know, I forget what what Bruce Lee movie that was, but uh, that was many years ago. My friend Montana, the guy that actually that's in your, near doesn't it's not too far from you. <laughs> but yeah, I miss Rome. It it is a. It is a beautiful city, and a, the eternal city. Okay. This looks like a bit of an underground entrance here. Should I try to go in here? It says it's an underground lab. Or should I try to go to the main building straight? Where am I? I'm over here. Maybe I could sneak in through here to the back here. There's a guy there. There's a guy by the chopper here guarding. Yeah, pretty lightly guarded this section here. I just see that guy and that guy there. So let's go this way. Alright, let's see. Let's move. Okay, I'm gonna put, make sure my, my handgun is silenced. Yep, okay, have the M4 that's not. But let's put the silencer in the, on that too. Let's move in with Joe and Rambo moving in to try to find Jace Skell, the missing mastermind of this World 2.0 tech company that that had this place going and then uh, was taken over by some sort of private military company and things went to hell. Hopefully the same thing's not going to happen here in the United States. It was much easier to return uh, after the election results, you know. But... Uh, yeah, still worrying times. Someone behind me? Huh. Clouds shows, but maybe it's underground. <laughs> Alright. One game that I was interested in trying to, that I almost bought when it was on sale, was a Sea of Thieves. And when I heard it was cross-platform, it made me even more interested. Like, you can play, I think, with Xbox, or you can play with, uh, with PC people. I like uh, nautical exploration games. Blacklisted spam, what the heck? Did you did you try to put some links? Uh, bat, uh, let, me, let me make sure. I you should be in my... You should be in my regulars uh, list. Let me let me double check. If you're not, I'll I'll add you right now. I'm sorry about that. Let me log in here to my Nightbot thing, and see if uh, make sure you're in my regulars list so that you don't get uh you don't get punished for for putting for 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 putting links on on chat if that's what happened. Ah, you're not there. Okay, let me put you in. Bat. 
One second. That guy Sam to just make sure I I spell it right. And I'm not sure if there's a Twitch command to untime out people. Okay, you're now in the regulars, so you should be okay. You should now be a regular. All right. Uh, weird. Did you put? I I don't know if do it, spam protection. I mean, I have the default. I used to have like you know the name of the president there because I had a problem with that once, but I think I removed that. Let me take a look at my settings here. Uh. Yeah, not sure what happened. Maybe because you put too many links at once or something. I don't know. I'll I'll look it up afterwards. Apologize about that. All right. Let's move in here. Let's look into the room. You can try to type it again if you want now and it should be fine. This guy has information. Let's try to grab this guy. Here, look. This is the throw thing. Let's cancel. Let's just follow him in. Oh, shit. Damn it. Interrogate him before people come. How do I get into Skills Lab? I swear, that's all. all right, that's everything. Okay, go move. So now they know I'm here. I'm gonna have to disappear before I come back because I don't want to face two million guys. Like I was just saying that I had been watching the election stuff and saw the reports they were saying that there had been cheating and fraud. Yeah, I mean, it's they, 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 they went to the judges, you know, and they did lawsuits and they're like, yeah, they were cheating and fraud and this and that. So the judge was like, you know, okay, show us the evidence. And they couldn't provide any evidence. So, you know, if you claim things, you have to provide evidence if you want something to happen. In three different lawsuits, three different states, they couldn't provide evidence. So that's that, you know, I mean... Uh, you know, the guy, he, he's incapable, you know, he has a, this thing, uh, he's a narcissist. It's like a mental condition. He's incapable of, of admitting he is wrong uh, or that he lost, you know, so it's, it's just going to, uh, it's going to uh, be a messy couple of months, but it already is. Or so I'm looking forward to 2021. Yeah, yeah, you know, like the, these people, like the the guy, you know, he's a reality, he's a like television, in reality, television show host, you know, and he likes to invent what he wants to be the truth, you know, but this is real life, this is not like television, you know, and in real life you have to, There are things that are true and there are things that are not true. <laughs> okay, a little chopper thing there. Shit, they still see me? Get away. See, this game shines this time of day, the, the graphics. When, when you have the sunlight, it gets warmer and then it's really nice, the weather effects. Really beautiful. But when it's like middle of the day, it's it's almost like there's a, this blue blanket thrown over everything. It's very cold. I think I saw some movement around there.
All right, so let's just wait here. I'm going to go prone camel. Let's send the drone up again. Okay. So I have to get in there, huh? All right, so these situations, I'm playing solo here. It would be nice if I had like three more people in my team. This four player co op this game, which is one of the funnest things about this game. But since I don't right now, and I'm solo, I, I usually I, I, uh, approach this in one of two ways. One way is I like, try to kill everyone, you know, I just uh, shoot the ones outside and like there's a guy there. And then displace when they come after looking for me and then shoot the ones that came looking after me and then displace and I repeat, you know. So that's one way to do it. Another way is to go in and try to not be spotted by anybody. And right now I'm playing without marking them. So right now, for example, if, if this guy that has information, then he's marked. But these other sort of grunts over here, I see them here from the drone, but they don't remain marked. So it, it makes it more challenging because then I don't, I see them from here. But then once I switch to the 3D world and I, and I move in, I don't see them anymore. So right now they're all looking that way because that's where the shooting and the, the shots came from. There, you know, there's three guys there because I was in there when when they, when that guy. Uh, shot at me so there everyone's paying attention over there so maybe if i swing around here the outside there's a little sort of police type drone here this would be a problem if it sees me if i maybe if i swing around this way and come in through the front door now maybe that'll be a good thing because they're all focused over there so that's my plan did i see the nas report saying they have located water in the moon i did i did see that that's excellent news and uh, i I have a, uh, it would be pretty cool if in my lifetime they put a base on the moon, you know, I don't know if that will happen in my lifetime, but. Have you watched that movie uh, with Brad Pitt, what was it called? I like that movie. Re from like last year to the year before. Indeed. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Since these guys are looking this way still, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to swing around like I said I was going to do. But I'm going to leave a, a C4 explosive so that I can keep them their attention over here. Sun going down. An aurora. Quite pretty. I'm going to put a C4 explosive around here and uh, another guy there. And if they, when I get to the other side, I'll set this off so that they still, uh, they, they come and run to see what this was. I'm just going to. I'm going to set it in this. I'm going to put some C4 on this vending machine. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Leave that there. Let's go back to this and let's keep moving now. Yeah, I wonder if there, they would, it would find some sort of life underground in the moon. Uh, but, I mean, we, we, we'll be able to live there with the water, right? All right, I think I'm going to try to take out this drone. Oh, there's a guy right here too. Check that out. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to put the uh the silent since suppressors are available for all the guns, I'm going to take out this guy too. But oh, there's two guys. Okay, then next, scratch that because one will probably see me taking out the other, so let's just keep moving all the way around like I like I said. Yeah, if someone from Ubisoft is watching this, or I'll, I'll send you the clip la later, please make suppressors in this game uh, something that you have to find, and it's not just default for every, all the guns. I think that would make it more uh, potentially more interesting. Making an option, you know, it's cool that they've 
been adding all these patches that making a lot of these things that people have been asking for, putting them in the game but making them options so you can keep the default if you want. It's really nice uh, of them to be doing this. All right. Keep moving here. They're looking the other way. Yeah, I wonder if this AI change also meant that they, you know, they, they've been looking that direction for a long time. Beforehand, before the, they used to, after a while, it was like, oh, that was nothing, you know, even though it was an explosion. Let's just go back to chatting about, you know, the weather or whatever, or the politics, or whatever they were chatting about before. But now maybe they're, you know, they, they stay after whatever cause of disturbance longer. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about the trace of bacterial microorganism. I think you may be right. It's been a while since I've since I looked into Mars stuff, but uh, oh, there's a guy there too, I think, coming in right through the front door here of the Skeltech location. Let's send the drone up one more time and see if we can see what's ahead. All right, is this gentleman over here a breacher, a close quarters unit? That means this guy has a shotgun, so it can often be a one-shot kill if he gets me. Anybody else in the vicinity here? There's those guys, there's a little drone. Throw wind through the roof? No. I'm worried about going through the front door like this. It's quite risky. Oh, there's another little drone there. It's a, it's a, what is it? Sky SK Transport, delivery drone designed to transport packages. Okay, so uh, Jeff Bezos is here too, you know, with his drones. Oh, there's some clothing over here. I, I always like to get, find some new clothing options for Joanne Rambo. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll maybe try to get that after I complete the mission. Yeah, I'm excited about AI. Oh, here you go, Sniper. Okay, that's a that's dangerous. I should probably take that guy out if I can, but but if I'm gonna go in through here, it's not necessary. He's he's occluded from me. But yeah, it's it's really exciting to have better AI in games. I mean, it's a lot of fun when the, the emergent gameplay leads into a situation where you know you're you're dealing with 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 enemies that give the a really good illusion of being intelligent. Uh, Ooh, watch out, Jeff Bezos' drone is around. Thought I heard something behind me, but I think it's nothing. Okay, it's getting dark, that's good. So this will give us an opportunity to see another addition to the, in this patch, that darker nights. So the, the nights are really dark and you really need NVGs or, or, or thermal uh, equipment to be able to see properly, apparently. We'll see. Alright, once that drone passes, I'm going to move. All right, here we go. Oh shit! Is that a drone that almost saw me? If you see someone, drop him. Okay. All right. Really don't like going in the lobby like this. There's probably gonna be people in here. But what the hell? Here we go. Alright, don't take any chances until we find these guys. Alright. It's a poor receptionist over here. Got enemies in the air. It's a guy right here, okay. They came to play. Let's talk to the receptionist if she has any other information. Hello, stranger. <laughs> yeah, just any idea how to find this place? You'll find what you're looking for here. Thanks. Take care of yourself. That guy says the AI in games getting much intelligent. 
exciting but worrying because as computers start being able to give intelligence to AIs and allow them to think and react so the computer can learn to think and react, a step closer to becoming self-aware and the birth of Skynet, living human tissue over metal endoskeleton. You know what? Look at this. In this game, one of the world parameters right now is you can have Terminators. <laughs> so uh, there, there was like a... The Ghost Recon, they have been doing like tie-ins of movies, so there are Terminators in this game. I'll probably turn this on. Uh, right now I have Resistance selected, so we can have like Resistance. You have to pick one or the other probably because of the some limitations in the coding. But you can fight Terminators in this game, which is fun. And uh, yeah, Skynet is a, 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 you know, a risk and a possibility, I think. I agree. There are very... Ooh. Should I get this TAC? Should I take two sniper rifles? Let's do it. But but I I I I. I okay, is this is my my Mark Fourteen that I have now. Let's see. Dude, I can't see anything. All right. Um, I do. I, I'm gonna stick with my M14. I, I think I by by getting this, I'll have it as a as an option in the future. By having found it, okay. This is a red door here, so it's locked. If I if I took out one of these dudes and carried him here, he might have a key card that will let me open this. But I think there's a doorway here that I can go in. Yeah. So let's just try to sneak in. Here we go. All right. Underground lab found. Here we go. Yeah, the machines are indeed coming. I'm kind of glad that I'm not living in a time when there is the machines coming ready, because games like this, they scare me, you know, like the drones are scary. When you see like these drones of machine guns and stuff attached, you know, it's not like just some delivering packages or or, or like a, a toy to, for, with a camera, you know, it's, it's scary. It's a, a weaponized uh, machine. And when they start thinking, then that'll be really scary. Ooh, sorry, I uh, pressed the wrong button here. Press the Windows key. All right, moving in slowly. All these doors are locked right now. I wonder if it's because they know I'm here and they lock them automatically. Okay, someone's in here. Will he be smart? He is it, will the AI be smart enough to see that when you know a door like opens like this, it's possibility of danger of someone coming in to take him out. Nice. Heads up, keep an eye out. We got enemy activity in the area. There he is. <laughs> Shit! Oh shh! I took one shot in the head. And I I gave one shot in the head. He didn't die. Maybe I missed. Wow. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do that again. <laughs> that's true. I mean, I I also have. I like to be optimistic. Oh, nice. I start from here. Okay, that's good. Okay, I thought I would have to do that whole. Thing. Come in all the way here again. All right. Let's try again. Yeah, we. Uh, I tr I want to be optimistic. You know, I just finished reading this book, which is in this series of books called uh, the Culture, by a Scottish author by the name of Ian a Ian M. Banks. And what I like about that book is that. Is that uh. The drones, and they're not all, they're, they're often good. The artificial intelligence in, the, in this book series, the culture, they're, they're the good guys. They're not the bad guys. The drones and humans, they, they live uh, together in, uh, in harmony. <laughs> Very close, he almost shot me. Load. 
anybody else. All right, skill technology. Oh. Ah, again, I pressed the wrong button, sorry. Alright, very rusty with my shooting here. Better keep moving. Food for thought. You know, the Red Sea set have been parted by Moses. Well, they have recently located ruins of ancient chairs on the bed of the Red Sea that they are... There is a fact how they got there. There is for debate, but definitely makes you think. Yeah, I remember the, the thing of in that vein that really made me wonder is they, they found something in Greece years ago. It's like this this computer, uh, this very complicated uh, piece of uh, machinery of lots of gears. I forgot what it was called now. And that points to like much more advanced technology than we imagined was available at that time. So there was probably a cataclysm, you know, that <laughs> wiped it out and it definitely is food for thought as they say okay am i going the right way here i'm not even sure okay, i'm gonna switch back to full auto oh is a drone Do I have any grenades? Let's take a look. I could really use some grenades here instead of stun. Oh yeah, I do have some grenades. Perfect. Okay. I don't like this. Yeah, when I pray, I pray for for all the gods, just in case, you know, one of them turns out to be real. <laughs> I don't discriminate. Can I investigate or I'm going to be shot by that guy? Let's see. Homewood mangrove, I don't really care about the UMP. It's not a very nice um, summer. What I don't like about submachines in this... A lot of submachine guns in this game is that you don't give you an option for single shot. You only have like three shots or nothing. I, I like to have the option for single shot. Oh! Well, that was me. Press the wrong button. I got a new mouse. Still trying to decide if I like it better than my free HP mouse from the 1990s or not. It's this thing. It's a... Uh, 
you know, when I'm a favorite streamer one day, this would cost a lot of money for me to show a brand name on the thing. Look at that. I, I didn't even, I didn't even want this, but I didn't even know it had this, but it has like this, you know, the video gamers have these changing color LED lights and it's a steel series or something, but the back is a little bit too wide. And I wonder if I just have to get used to it or if, uh, if it's not going to be really work for me because my hand was aching a little bit yesterday after I used it for a while, but I don't know if it's because of the mouse or I'm just not used to the... Alright, now what? Oh my! Alright. It's a bit more accurate. Yeah, I mean, I think all these stories, you know, Bible and whatever, th there's definitely a basis in, in something that happened, but I think, you know, it's... A, Obviously exaggerated in certain ways. It's a story, right? But, uh, you know, floods and stuff like that. That's, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Though. There was a story in the New Yorker a few years ago about this. This, um, good, vanished. This archaeologist who found these bones in uh, somewhere in the States. And, and it shows this this site that had that showed like the incredible violence from a body of water that that hit it and and it was around the same time that uh, of of that huge uh, crater that basically the Gulf of Mexico and they have evidence uh, based on uh, the substrates the on the rock there that there's these formations that are only possibly created by this extreme heat such as a meteor striking earth so that added uh, evidence to that theory that what wiped out the dinosaurs and uh, what caused a lot of trouble in the earth and probably gave us a chance instead of you know some walking velociraptor talking velociraptors of opposable thumbs is what gave us monkeys a chance was uh, that meteor wiping out a lot of uh hey guys how you doing oh shit Well, the, uh, the 2010, late 2010s and 20s, apparently, if you if you buy anything related to video games and PCs, it comes with, like my my motherboard. I I just ordered a motherboard, but it comes with when my PC is off but still plugged into the to the mains, it glows. There's all this glowing like RGB light. It's pretty cool. But you know, I didn't look for it, but it just came by default. All right, here we go. I think this might be a cutscene. Yes, it's a cutscene. We may find Jay Skell. Let's see what this says. What happens? 1980s. You, Jay Skell. Terminator. Come on, we gotta move. I was hiding under a table. <laughs> I'd be Shit. too if I heard a bunch of shooting out there. All right, listen. My name is Nomad. I'm part of a team sent here to see what the hell's going on with the Roa. Now, Maury's Fox said I could trust you. To be honest, I don't. But the people coming after you are trying to kill me. So what do you say we help each other? Is Fox working with Ayana Puri? The woman who took over as CEO was working with those animals? No. No, he's in the cave with Mad Schultz. Cave? You know what? It's it's cooler than it sounds. Eric Juan. Come on, grab your stuff. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta move. Doesn't want to leave the lab. It's my fault. All of this. I can fix it. Yeah. No, he, he's not the president. He admits he's this wrong. Huh? Drones. Right. Operation Citadel. Right now, Citadel's keeping people in. But we can use it to free Aurora. Hey, tell me. What does Walker have to do with any of this? Walker was our military advisor. He led the takeover. Her shoulder looks. Oh, it's a backpack. I think. It looks, makes it look. What weird. he wanted was the drones. I thought he was a. Indeed, friend. Horizon is free now. It's cool. Yeah. I love I Horizons. Too. Can't wait for Odyssey. Well, that just brings a tear to my eye. Go, go, go! 
All right, this is some famous actor, I guess. I don't know who he is because, you know, I only know the actress from the 80s and 90s and 2000s. Walker. Hey. Josiah. That guy was in my team. It's good to see you, Nomad. Glad that you're still above ground. No thanks to your lack of trying. You have to know this is not personal. He has a reason for being here, and it makes sense. Josiah, don't be an idiot. That man is a traitor. He's a revolutionary. And we have a plan to make the world better. Ah, everyone's got a plan you know, you for that. You killed my soldiers. You killed Weaver. We've chosen to become the warriors we were meant to be. Your masters, that just... They don't believe in anything. We'll make you an offer, Nomad. Hand over Jace. Join us. You, you gonna turn me over? No. Good old Nomad. Looks like a heavy gun. That class is bulletproof. Like hell it is. No shit. We need to get out of here. That's our way out. We vent toxic fumes through there. It might kill us. They will definitely kill us. All right. Guess we're gonna run away with Jay's skill. Yeah, I have to fire up Elite. Tomorrow, probably. Alright, Jace is with me. Escort him to Werohan, okay. Do a quick little investigation over here. This UMP, I guess I'll figure out where it is. I don't, I'm not, I don't care about that weapon. Alright, let's go, dude. Do I have to tell you to follow me? Or, you know, I, I really don't like escort missions in video games, but... Let's see. Oh, there's a chopper out here. That'll make it easier. Oh, nighttime. Okay, so now we can check if it's really here. Let me. So, world parameters. Okay, no, it's ghost experience parameters. Uh, I think it was. It, it's so confusing. So many different things. But I think uh, difficulty here. Darkest night on. Okay, so now the night should be darker than usual. And you actually. NVGs and stuff come in very handy. I forgot what was the key to turn on NVGs actually. Was it V? Yeah. Oh, there's a guy right here. It's like Predator from the 1980s. This. Oh, I thought it was a drone, but I think it's just a generator over here. Okay, this is pretty cool. I like the cold, the cold, the darker nights. All right, dude. Let's uh, some dudes out there too. This is no armor, but I think if I take off of this, those guys are probably gonna shoot at me. But so let's take them off out too. Oh. More people come in here. The Halloween was m the Halloween mystery in Elite was awesome. What what was the Halloween mystery? I didn't I didn't get a chance to play it. I I can look at it if you don't feel like typing about it. But uh, yeah, man. I usually I I like the the Halloween events they have in games. They had one in Red Dead Redemption that I was thinking about streaming Red Dead Redemption 2, but uh, obviously I wasn't here, so I didn't get a chance. Huh? Oh, pretty cool. I like this darker night thing. This is this is pretty cool. All right, let's just get the chopper and get out of here. There's too many people around. I wonder if for streaming, if this is good or not, because you can't really see anything then, right? Very well. I, I, I have to. Oh, oh, this dude's right here. Okay. Copy that. 
All right. That guy says the Halloween mystery in Ali was a ghost ship that turned up, sparked a really cool mystery, which led to some cool discoveries. Awesome, dude. A ghost ship, huh? Like one of those big generation ship type things. I saw that there's like an alliance thing in a Cossack nebula or something. Ooh, how do I turn off the lights on the, on the helicopter? Uh, gee. Damn it, none of this makes sense. I know Josiah, he's one of the good guys. They were gonna kill me. Makes me wonder why the hell I don't. What? Hey, they, they took over the island, right? They stole my company. I'm one of the good guys. Then why'd you sink that cargo ship? I just... The ship was taking drones off the island. These drones could be the most powerful weapon since the nuclear bomb. I had to decide. I had to stop it. Hello, third viewer, whoever you are. Thanks for joining us. Crew members died. I'm sorry. I had to choose, you know? A few weeks ago, they field tested the drones in South Asia. They accidentally killed unarmed civilians. I tried to shut it all down. They were taking over the island. Sinking that cargo ship was my only option. I've seen what your drones can do. A few homesteaders and Skeltech employees were trying to leave the island by boat. No. What? Not talking because they're talking. It wasn't pretty. Fox and Harmony made it out okay. This isn't what I wanted at all. Where are you taking me? Erewhon. Where it's are you taking me? Homesteaders are holed up. Fox is there too. All right. This is the Dark Knight, Darkest Knight update uh, at parameter in Ghost Recon. So you can see it's pretty dark. Okay. All right, and here we are. Let's escort this dude. Uh, I don't remember if I have a flashlight in my. I, I think I only have like uh, night vision. I don't have flashlights and stuff. So let's go. That guy says, yeah, it's a permanent point in the game. I think he's talking about Elite now. And yeah, it led to a planet in the Cossack Nebula, which is now an expansion planet for the alliances to investigate. It's really cool, dude. I, I have to, uh, I have to get some Elite time in. All right, here we are, Erehan and Knight. Okay, D did I complete that mission? Did I wait? Oh, I had to talk to him. I think I just left him out there. All right, let's go back and get Jay Skell. It's been a quite a romp around the island to find this guy. We could do some side yeah, missions, or, but I, I just, I just, I really want to race in this game to the finish if I can do the main storyline and finish it because I never. I played it much further before I started streaming, but I started from scratch to stream it from the beginning. But um, I do want to finish the whole thing eventually. All right, let's see. Ah, the cowboy. What the hell? Leader of the rebels. Mads, this is Jay Skell, CEO of Skelltech. Yeah, I know who he is. How long we've we been neighbors? Hmm. Never Maybe played Destiny. Be friendly before you need I should help. try it. I have another friend of mine who. I was wrong. I part of my family really. Be left alone. Tom, he plays. It's nice to finally meet you. Do you like Destiny, bad guys? Yeah. Yeah. Fox was right. He wasn't the one behind Sentinel's takeover of Aroa. Walker was. Now they're after him because he could take down the drones. And you think it's a good idea to bring the egghead here? You want to throw him to the wolves? It's better than the wolves coming here. Jace! Oh, Harmony. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm okay. We missed you. Are you going to stay with us? Harmony, I don't know if that's a... Matt? Is he going to stay? You have to let him stay. Yeah. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Of course he can stay. My awesome. little girl's the boss. It's Let's good. go set up your computer. Mads, thank you. I'm gonna do all I can for you and your friends. I, I promise you. You know, just how many damn computers are you all gonna set up? Quite a few, probably. Which, <laughs> your dad's got something he needs to show you. 
Bad guys used to be a big fan of Destiny 2, but became a bit of a cash cow, and Bungie became like, give us more and more and more money, and so I part of company of Destiny. I hear you, man. I wonder if Rockstar is going to start, start charging money for their updates as well, because the CEO was like, oh, GTA is too cheap, you know, we, we should charge more money. And they have some big update coming before the end of the year. Drones. Drones. They're going to put this thing on drones. All right, let's talk to this guy and keep the story moving. Even in Erehan, the darker nights in this update, they, they, the, things do, the graphics do look darker at night. But you can't you can't turn on night vision in here. All right. All right, Jace. Oh no, this is Joe Pesci. It's the Joe Pesci Fox. of uh, Fox. Mad said you had something to show me. Jace. Oh, Fox. It is so good to see you. So great. Thank you for trusting him. He's here, but I'm still making up my mind about him. Schultz said you had something. Uh, this is important. Someone still with the company sent me this video they shot with their smart glasses. Terrorist activity was reported in your area. Please stay indoors and cooperate with security forces. This is one of the scary drones. This is the evil guy. I'm just the guy you need for your wonderland. I appreciate mid-level managers who still get their hands dirty. Don't you? Get him in the truck. Move it! Yeah, nice people. Catch a warning. Won't have any of my guests crying like a virgin on prom night. Let's go. Don't you glare at me, son of a bitch. Simple man, you promised to cooperate, and as you can see, I do not abide broken promises. Not a very nice man, this to find him and take him out. My god, that's Trey Stone, he's the CEO of Sentinel, a private security firm. And you hired him not to do that. Miles, a government liaison, he suggested I hire Stone, Peter Miles. He's the company man behind Operation Greenstone. He sent us here. Did that asshole set us up to fail? Man, I hate managers like that. You were never like that, Jace. How involved is Peter Miles? Uh, someone bombed one of the labs at Manganui. The bombing was enough to push me into making lethal drones. Miles showed up with the funding and... We created the Omega Security Look at his program. neck. And he then, spent uh, so much time on laptops that he's like this, you know. Advisor. And when you tried to shut them down, they took over. He's like this. Too much time we on laptops. We need to get you civilians off the island. And I need to get reinforcements. I've been working on a way to make that happen. Yes! <laughs> That's my homie. I, I found a flaw in the drone control program. A bit I'm of a clipping on, on his oh, shirt virus. there. They can take control of a single sector of drones. That would allow a ship to leave the island. Yes. But I need help. If it's enough to let troops land, I'll lend a hand. Thank you, Nomad. Really. I'm setting up a workspace. Come by and I'll tell you what I need. You have something of their shoulders in the in the character models in this, this game. They all seem awesome. to have quite like you know up here like that. Like before, before I just felt like a big wimp. You, you know what I mean? My stomach was all acidy, and I really just wanted to eat some fish tacos. But now, I mean, this feels great. <laughs> like we're gonna kick some. This ass. guy looks just like this Joe Pesci, awesome. but uh, his voice is all wrong, and they basically sound like they modeled him after the Lester guy in GTA. It's like with this sort of silly jokes, but you know. It's tough to have good to, to do good writing and get good voice acting together. It's it's not easy. 
You know, look at Jagged Alliance too. That has a good writing and good uh, voice acting. Game from 1999. All right, bunch of new missions. We are here at an hour 15 minutes. Let's keep going. Uh, let me open up my uh, my mission. See what's next here. Let's talk to Scale about the plan. Oh, didn't isn't that what I, what I just did? All right. Oh, he's right here. Okay. Sure. You wanna go now? You go now or it's line? Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, but I can I can go now if you want. Okay. Alright, genius. Tell me about this plan of yours. Okay. I can exploit a flaw in the drone control program to take control of a sector of drones that controls the perimeter of the island. But I need help. Okay, I'll go get the... We need the, to find my head engineer. Uh, we need to make sure it. that back door in the drone's programming yeah, stays uh, open. And we need an advanced AI yeah. we're developing. If the character looked and sounded like Joe Pesci, then the devs have to pay Joe Pesci. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, it could sound, you know, similar, not exactly the same. All right, here we go. Let's pin this mission. All right, let's. let's whoa, there's a lot of. I have to talk to him more. Let's keep talking to him. Okay, what do I want to talk to him? The back door program about the AI or about Paula Madeira? Blake's law and under Herzog's control. Let's. Let's let's see this Blake's law. Let's talk about that. Tell me about this AI. To take control of a sector of drones, we need this AI to hijack the drone control program. The AI is the centerpiece of our campus on Darkwood Island. The campus is built overlooking St. Patrick Lake. Do you know what kind of sentinel presence is on that island? It's bad. Lots of soldiers. Lots of surveillance. All right. So, how do I get my hands on the AI? Find Christina Cromwell. When Grace Maddox, our lead computer scientist, got a little controversial, Cromwell took over the AI department. Maddox is brilliant, but Cromwell will know the AI inside and out. If we're lucky, she'll know how to get it. All right, so we're gonna have to find this, uh... The Skell Foundation camp is located on Lake Catherine in the Cape North province. All right. I'll talk to him about all this other stuff so I don't have to do it afterwards as well, all right? How am I supposed to help with the drone program? The back door, the flaw in the program needs to stay open. Traystone knows about this flaw, and I had a computer security team working on it. They were the people he was putting on the truck in the video. So, he's got them working on it again. I'll get him free. Any idea where they are? There's a tech lab where the security team servers are located. And you'd better destroy the servers too, so no one can complete their work. Got it. All right, and there's one more the, about Paula Madeira, an ingenious genius. Tell me about this engineer you need. Paula Madeira, she's my drone expert. She's brilliant. I can't write this program without her. I know she's still on the island, but she left Skeltech right after Sentinel arrived. Are they after her? I have no idea. All I can tell you is where she used to live. It's like David Bowie, this start. guy. A little bit. All right. So. I get to choose. There's side missions. Um. But I'm going to stick with the main missions right now because... I want to do a race to sort of the end of this uh, of this game if I can. Let's go for this Carl Chisholm dude. 
Reformed hacker Chisholm focuses programming genius towards exposing corrupt governments, corporations, not easily recruited. Jay Skell had to convince him Skelltech's moral ethos and objectives to developing countries. That went well. Appease Chisholm designed Skelltech's firewall, making himself a target for Sentinel. Reach the Aurora data farm. Silent Mountain province, south of Solitary Peak. All right, let's take a look at that. Where Silent Mountain province is over here. I haven't been there yet. South of Solitary Peak. There's Solitary Peak. All right, maybe it's that place there. I'll put a beacon over there and we're gonna fast travel to whatever, uh, to, ooh, I have a, a bivouac close by there. I've been around, I've been here. Okay, let's fast travel there, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> not a, I'm no speed runner, that's for sure, but um, I do, uh, I do eventually want to finish this game, but there's so many games I want to play right now. Ooh, frame rate went to hell right here. What's going on? So many games I want to play right now that, and I am playing that. What happened with the frame rate? Frame rate went to hell. One second. See if I can do something about this. Okay, this we go. That's better. I just out tabbed and. All right. Yeah, I'm mean, I'm digging this darker night. I wonder if for streaming it just makes it harder for you to see what's happening. I'll, I'll give you an example. Okay. This is what it's looking right now. If this dark night's on. Okay. Let's just see of the moonlight over there. Okay. That's what it looks like. Like this. Now. If I go to. World para uh, what was it? Settings? No, I think Ghost Experience, then I think Difficulty, Darkest Nights, Off. Let's see how that changes things. Alright, and that's, that's what it looks like without Darkest Nights. So basically it makes like this stuff not as useful. But I think for streaming, it makes it a little bit more visible what's going on in the stream. So I think I'm going to leave it off when I'm streaming. I don't know. What do you think, back guys, if you have any opinion on this? Okay, I have to go north now. Not really dressed for this environment right here. I'm going to take a car to go over there. It's like Rambo first blood where in the beginning when he, you know, escapes the 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 police station and then he's wearing like, you know, a a, a shirt and and he's in the Pacific Northwest somewhere with like the cold weather and It looks like some motorbikes up here, potentially. Another thing I want to do is, I, d I don't want to... I'm going to change one more setting here, if, if I may. I don't want on the mini-map to, to, for loot icons to appear. So they, they're a little distracting. I, I wanna, and I want to be surprised by what I find. I don't want to know that it's a motorbike before I get there. A lot more visibility, yeah. All right, I'll I'll leave it off then. I'll leave it uh, you know, in the interests of uh, ooh, some guys right here, uh, in the interests of uh, of more visibility for the stream viewers. I'm gonna leave the night mode off. All right, let's take out these motorcycle dudes and. Oh, it's only 936 meters, but it is over a mountain. Oh. Go back. It's a drone guy. All right. All right, let's move. No motorcycle. It's quite violent these takedowns in this game. Can't get up through there. Let's go. Keep going up the path. I prefer the takedowns in Ghost Recon Wildlands. They weren't as violent. They were more like 
a little bit more elegant, not just using a knife, you know. So my favorite ones like the, the kick in the balls and then pressing the face on the ground. That was a classic. But in this one, they're all like, you know, knife ones. They're, they're pretty violent. Not a fan. Ooh. I've seen that before. It's like a destroyed drone or something. Let's just keep moving on foot to this location. So yeah, I do appreciate them adding this stuff but keeping them as options, you know, because if you don't like the darkest night, if you're streaming and you want to get more visibility, you, you can keep it off. You know what? I'm gonna go get that bike. This is gonna get long. And I'm not dressed for this weather. Poor civilian's gonna have to land it to me. Christy and Nank over there. Soldier around. All right. Hey there. SMG small magazine. Oh, let's look at Aurora I need data help farm. finding this location. Thanks. I owe you one. And I need your motorcycle as well, please. Thank you. And off we go with our tank top shirt up a snowy mountain on a motorcycle, just like Rambo First Blood. <laughs> that would be a good game, a good movie, a series to base video game on, of like open world, you know? Like Rambo movies. Can I get up there at all? It's, it's, it's gonna be difficult. Oh yeah, it's a cross bike. Oh! It's almost like a glitch over there, stuff through the mountain. Yeah, alrighty. Nice, okay. Alright, let's do a bit of recon from up here. Get the binos out. Aurora data farm, alright. I'll take that beacon off and uh, yeah that's where I have to go probably gonna be snipers on the roof there's one and all sorts of other armed fiends on the ground too Let's just take the motorcycle and go all the way over there. Maybe I'll ramble this one. Just go in guns blazing. Always risky when you're uh, when you're alone. Okay, it's on the lower level. All right. Stop the. Okay. I have to locate the tech lab, it's on the lower level of the Royal Data Farm Complex, which is this thing I'm looking at here, and it's overlooking the lake, okay. Right, first order of business, find a, a, a warmer jacket. Oh. Alright, let's, let's put, oh, I do have a... Alright, he almost, uh, he saw the dead body and he almost alerted the other guys, but I got him out first. Can I turn off this light? 
See, this is one of my pet peeves in this game, so lights you can't shoot out. You know, you can say they're LEDs and stuff, but come on. Alright, shit. Bit of a, a bit of a pickle here. Let's take this gun. Let's keep moving. I hurt myself. <laughs> All right, bandage, bandage up. All right, I can make all that stuff appear in the superior pressing tab, which is another nice touch. Right, let's find a way into this place. Okay, they're alerted that there's someone here, but they don't know where I am. So that's the yellow thing on the bottom right. It means they're alerted. There's a heavy. Some guys running around looking for me, probably. There's a civilian guy. Let's try to take out the heavy. Down. Take out that guy too. Let's keep moving. Hey, no, no, please. Oh, dudes over there. Don't want to use this civilian as a shield, but he's just standing here. Let's, I want to. Shit. Okay, they're calling reinforcements. This is not good. Let's go. Ah. That's what happens when you get caught in between a bunch of people and you're playing this game by yourself. Um, you got killed in action. Try one more time, and then I'm gonna call this a stream and uh, go for a walk. Any thanks for a bad guest to be being around here? All right. None of them good. Ghost must be a hell of a guardian angel. Who'd have thought the big bad wolves got caught? All right, let's keep moving and try to get in this place and climb up here. I can. Ooh. Interesting. Right on the roof. Ooh, sniper there. Careful. Around with the sun rising. Alright, XP level up. To 13. I probably might get a skill point for that too. Where's the entrance to this thing? Here we go, there's the skill point. Here's an entrance. Let's go right in there. Shit, there's a drone there. <sighs> I think they. Kn I think. I think he told them that they know where I I'm here now. Shit. What happened to that? Some gorillas helping me out. <coughs> I'm gonna be Rambo in this one, there's no choice. Pick up whatever this is. 
Skill credits. Track. Shit, this guy's coming both sides now. Alright. Back the other way. Can't talk much, but welcome back. Hey, Zio Quinn. Thank you, sir. It is good to be back. Oh. It's good to be back. So, oh. Oh my. Huh. Yeah. Capogiata. That's what it's called in Italian, okay? A headbutt. It's good to be back, sir. Thanks again for making me a billionaire and elite. I'm looking forward to playing that game again soon. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and after all that, I get killed by one shotgun blast to the head. Oh my god. I don't need the backup in this game. Ciao. Ciao, Zoquin. Good to see you, man. Thanks for dropping in. Hope you're doing well. Alright, one more try. Um... Uh, Alright. One more try, let's go. I'm just gonna have to try to take everyone out. Instead. Instead of uh, sneaking around, I'm gonna just... If I see someone, I'll shoot him. Alright, got him right before he alerted the hope everyone. Oh, there's two more and they're gonna see him the two and Okay, took him out too, that's good. I do like the M14. I hear a drone nearby. I don't know why it blew up the other time. Oh, here you go. Locate the servers. Okay, this is good. So the servers are here. Destroy the servers in the tech lab. Okay. Make sure there's no one here first. So don't get surprised. And... Alright, I'm just going to put C4 on these things and, and I'll set it off when I'm... Uh... You know what? Fuck it. Oh, I think it does have to be C4, huh? Okay. One for you. One for you. One for you. And one for you. Ooh. Okay. Let's try opening up with this with the machine gun. Silence so you can hear me. Will the others have heard that or not? Here they come. Right there out there, guys. Get ready. All right, move. Go all the way around. Uh. 
the sniper. I'm hurting. Hide over here for a bit behind this bush. Let's heal up. There's a crate here too. Oh! The sniper? Fuck is that? There's a drone right on me. Stay sharp, boys! Kill everything! Sniper rifle, that's what I got. Better keep it loaded up. Medic! <laughs> Indeed. And I hear a drone coming. Oh shit. Right, the classic stay in one spot and do all you can to hold off the enemy situation. And there's a drone up here. I have a minor injury, let's see if I can uh, fix it with a bandage. See in Far Cry 2 for example, you had like so many different kind of injuries, like a bullet in your arm, like a something in your arm on fire, your leg like a splinter and stuff. And this one you only have like this one thing. So, and that game is like from, I really want another Far Cry 2. So that's why I'm excited for L L Watch Dogs Legion. Although, from what I hear of the reviews, it, it does look like it's been released, uh, you know, like Ubisoft tends to do these days a bit too early. And they're gonna need some patches to really bring it up to speed, but... You know what, let's, let's switch to the 8K. Or 8KM. Same creative director. It's all the stuff in here. Oh, people? What is this? Oh, shit! It's a civilian. I'm sorry. It's not nice. I, th I totally thought he had a helmet. It's my bad. War as hell. Alright, of one civilian dead. Warning terrorist attack, yeah. Let's see some papers here. here. 
Stop the drone. Alright, let's check the intel to unlock further information. They want you to pretend you're like a a, a detective looking at intel here. Okay. The whole company has lost the shit. Sentinels rounding up the workers and loaders and transports heading God knows where. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. They could be trying to keep you safe. Like hell, this is an arrest. They're being detained. Our office director is just letting it happen. It's not looking anyone in the eyes. Don't panic, okay? Oh, God, they don't tell us where they're taking us. Okay, I'm going to try to make some calls, but you need to keep your head down. Whatever you do, do not get in the transport. You'll figure something out. You're my big girl, all right? Yeah, things went to hell in this uh, situation. Kind of like in the in the current administration, the next couple of months. <laughs> All right. Hello, friend. What happened? Oh. Where is everyone? Go, go. Took them where? I'm gonna see what I can do. Shit. Go. Just really this place. More intel. Okay, let's check more intel. Roundup orders. Okay, what do I have to do now? Now I have to investigate the security office for missing programmers. Okay. They were captured with Sentinel soldiers. Sentinel soldiers must know where the security office is. So I have to, have to introduce one of these Sentinel soldiers. Probably one of these guys with the eye over their head. Guess I'll just go back. Shit, I know they're out here. Ooh. Okay, these hostiles can't hide forever. Where are they? Watch out, grenade! Alright, I need to move. Shit, that didn't work. Shit. Not good. Sniper. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna call it a stream. Bad guys. Wonderful to see you, sir. Thanks for coming on, coming by as always. I'll be back uh, tomorrow, probably with Elite, and uh, going to update my schedule for next week. I may have a freelance job, which means I'll have to stream less. But um, I am not gonna stop this. I'm gonna keep streaming, and it's always a pleasure to. To have you nearby. All right. All right. Peace out. I'm New York City. Across the Atlantic to England. Thanks so much for watching, sir. See you again soon.